Hello, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general reading for the month of July of 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in and for being here. Please keep in mind, Cancer, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading. So even though it does say that it is dated for July of 2022, this is still a timeless reading, all right? This does not have to resonate for you at any specific moment in your life. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the relevant message for you in that moment. The fact that it is stated as a reading for July is literally just for organizational purposes, yes? And to make it easier for people to find the readings. Yes, yes, yes. All right, Cancer, three more shuffles here. That's one. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Um, this could resonate for you, Cancer, or this could resonate for a cross watcher watching for a Cancer, all right? So with that said, again, it's a general reading. Just place it in your life as it fits. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Last shuffle. Let's give that one more try. Last shuffle for you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. So what messages do we have for my Cancerians at this time? What do we want to discuss with Cancer at this time, please, Spirit? And my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What's going on in the life of a Cancer? Okay, there's the moon there showing up for you. Um, that could be your energy. You have the tower. You also have the magician. Wow. Okay, that's three major arcana right there, Cancer. The magician, the moon, and the tower. This, uh, straight off the bat, Cancer, I'm getting magic here. I want to say you're casting spells. I don't say that in a bad way. I don't say that in a derogatory way. Of course, depending on your position, your point of view in terms of it, that could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. I, okay, so you have the magician here, which is a manipulative energy. I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck in a second. But you have the magician here, which obviously is some sort of manipulation. And then you have the moon here, which um, is mystery. Okay, is fear, is intuition. The, the, the moon could also represent you, Cancer, uh, as, you know, the moon rules cancer, Cancerian energy. I, for some reason, I, I'm, I'm getting some sort of mysticism, some sort of magic, uh, spell work, intuition, whatnot, whatever. And it's, it's, cre mm. it's wreaking havoc, the tower. But I can't tell if this is a good or a bad thing yet, Cancer. I mean, I want to say if you're manipulating things or situations in order to tear something down for someone else, that's not necessarily a good thing. However, this also could be you casting spells or doing some sort of ritualistic work or doing, you know, practicing some form of mysticism that is creating space for you for something in your life to come through instead like this doesn't have to be a bad thing you could be you know uh, doing work to create space in your life so to say now also cancer this could be someone else in your life in your vicinity all right the moon here is what's really giving me this magic energy something is not as it seems and this magician here could very well be another person in your life, in your vicinity, someone who, see, who is claiming to be a friend, who but really is an enemy of sorts, trying to manipulate things in order to sabotage you, in order to tear you down, in order to create some sort of change or upheaval in your life, maybe even to create a blockage in your life. But that doesn't seem to be going well. There's something about this energy cancer of, of which either you know, something is intentionally coming down, like, you know, somebody's efforts, though probably yours, if that resonates for you, the efforts there are working and it's bringing certain things down. Um, this could really be very healthy in terms of you taking your power back or taking ownership of your life and your circumstances and doing certain things to, you know, change your mindset, to bring down certain belief systems that have been detrimental to you in your life up until this point. Um, so that could be a good thing, okay? That definitely could be working in your favor here, 
I definitely see that for some of you. For others of you, if you are or have been the victim of some sort of spell work or some sort of manipulative uh, efforts by someone else within your life or within your vicinity, I don't think it's going, either it's not going well for them or it's not working out as they had intended them to. And I'm getting that from the moon. You see how the, the woman on the moon here, she's got this like, if the camera will focus, there we go. She's got this kind of like cheeky looking look on her face, almost as if, you know, she there's some, there's something's afoot or there's some sort of deception going on, on here. And what I'm reading from that is, for the individual in your life who thinks that they can manifest some sort of situation that's going to cause you to get tripped up or something like that, the universe may be making it seem like it's working, but it really <laughs> jokes on them because they can't really affect you, even though they try. I just heard, well, at least they tried. That's interesting. I think that I, I think that's coming from your spirit guides. At least they tried. But they're saying that in some sort of funny way. It's like, it, it's really not going to work out in the way that they had planned or the way that they had hoped. Okay, what's at the bottom of the deck? The, <laughs> the world is at the bottom of the deck. All right, this is all major arcana for you, Cancer. Now, okay, so... For somebody here, this is this might be the effects of some sort of spell work here. All right, that's fine. But for others of you, this is actually you really taking your power back and making some serious changes in your life. You could be going through a weight transformation. You could be going through a self-worth transformation. You could be going through some sort of career transformation. I feel like whatever changes are actively being made in your life, Cancer, at this time, they are for the better. And it's working out in your favor. On top of that, this could you, both sides of this situation could be resonating for you, Cancer, in terms of you are actively manipulating things to try and make changes in your life, while also there are other people around you that are trying to manipulate situations to maybe hold you back or throw you off your path or, or, or get back at you or get some sort of one-upmanship on you or something like that. But it's, it's not working in their favor. What I want to say, Cancer, is that everything all is working out in your favor, whether you realize it right now or not, okay? Wow, but I, let's get into some clarification here. So I'm gonna shuffle a few times, but I also, I wanna make it very clear to you. I want you to understand that you have all major arcana here right now. So this message, for you at this moment in your life, whatever it is you are going through in your life, this is a major, I wanna say a major turning stone, uh, a turning, excuse me, a major turning point, a major stepping stone, a major cornerstone for you. I mean, this is big. This is a big shift in your life. This is a time period in your life where things may never be the same. Look at that. The devil. The devil just popped out. All I'm trying to do, Cancer, is shuffle the deck so that I can get some clarification going. And this card just popped right out and it's the devil in reverse. And you have the nine of cups and the hermit. See, this is why people can't touch you. This is why your efforts are working out in your favor and why someone else's efforts are not even close to being able to touch you or affect you because you have a strong sense of inner of, of self-awareness going on here okay you're very much in an energy at this moment in your life of taking real responsibility for who you are in this moment where you find yourself in this moment what you have been through up until now and where it is you want to go where it who it is you want to be and what it is you want to experience moving forward and it's this level of taking accountability i want to say in some in kind of some sort of some extreme ways it's this effect of or this this ability for you to take responsibility or take accountability or hold yourself accountable for where it is you find yourself versus where it is you want to be that's allowing you to be on the upper hand of this situation okay so this devil energy here doesn't necessarily have to be the effects of somebody else doing spell work on you it could just be your own demons 
your own attachments, your own addictions, your own fears, your own levels or, yeah, your own level of uh, codependency. However this resonates for you, you are, if in a, in a, you are in fact releasing this devilish or toxic energy. For some of you, this is a situation in which you have someone or a group of people, maybe friends or family, I am kind of getting family for some of you, that are actively trying to sabotage your efforts towards self-improvement, or maybe, maybe they're not necessarily doing it consciously, okay? But I am, I just heard misery loves company, so take it as it resonates, but either they're not doing it consciously, well, I'm sorry, let me say it this way. Either they are doing it consciously because they don't want you to succeed because they know that if you succeed, then it leaves them asked out or it leaves them with one less ally or they're not doing it consciously, which, I mean, I, don't, I can't tell which is worse. They both have their, their strong negative aspects, but if they're not doing it consciously, it's just it's, it's an effect of you being associated with these individuals or you being around this energy, which ultimately kind of allows you to absorb some of that energy from them, some of that energetic resonance from them, or at least face certain effects of that energetic resonance, which is technically lower in vibration than what it is you are actively working towards. It is the effects of you being around them that is causing you to uh, deal with certain sabotaging elements, so, so to speak, quote unquote. But there is this level here, Cancer, of you really taking an extreme amount of responsibility and or ownership. And I say extreme because I feel like for some of you, you are looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, how did I create this for myself when you had no hand in creating it at all? You're not even trying. Some of you are not even trying to blame someone else or look at someone else's involvement. Some of you are strictly putting this all on yourself. And yes, that is helping to an extent because it's helping you remain accountable. I just don't want you to go too far with that, okay? Because in some cases, it's really not your fault, Cancer. But ultimately... Ultimately, you have a massive cycle that's coming to a close for you right now, or you have a massive ending that's happening, or you are about to transform from one state of being to another, and it's all because of you taking accountability, holding yourself accountable for where it is you find yourself and doing what it takes for you to feel happy and content, Nine of Cups. Or also what I'm getting with this Nine of Cups, doing what it takes for you to reach a level of contentment and happiness. And this is not necessarily like some big wish or wish come true or dream fulfilled, even though the Nine of Cups is a card of wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups, in my opinion, as a reader, when it comes to the, the wish fulfillment of the Nine of Cups, this is just like your everyday mundane wish fulfillment. You know what I mean? Like going about your day to day life having like the, taking a siesta or having taking a nap or you know having uh, uh having lunch with a friend or having dinner with some friends or maybe going out on a date or maybe buying yourself a uh a, a, a candy bar a snickers bar when you're out you know doing something just for a little bit of enjoyment it's those little things the nine of cups for me represents those little things in life that accumulate and help you to feel fulfilled and content it's also that energy of like when you go to bed at night and you lay your head down on the pillow and you're just like, I'm happy, I'm good. I'm good with where my life is or I'm good with what I did today or I'm good with what I can't accomplish today or whatnot, whatever, or I'm grateful. I feel blessed for having this roof over my head, having a meal to eat, having a bed to sleep, like that kind of stuff, right? Regardless as to whatever this is for you specifically, Cancer, this is you overcoming devilish, toxic, codependent, low vibrational, addictive situations, okay? This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. All right, Spirit said one more shuffle. Okay, I'm gonna give this one more official shuffle and then we're gonna clarify some more, yeah? Excellent, for my Cancerian, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. All right, let's clarify the Magician. Clarify the Magician for Cancer, please, Spirit. For this message 
clarify the gist from the camps too. Queen of Wands, they're saying it's upright though. Queen of Wands. Well. Clarify the magician, please. We have the moon again. Okay. And then we also have strength. Queen of Wands, the moon, and strength. However, the Queen of Wands did come out reversed, but when it did come out, Spirit said this is upright. So or at least it needs to be upright. <laughs> Overall energy is the sun. You guys, it's so crazy because the sun and the moon have been consistently coming out together. I haven't seen it. Like I've been, I've been reading Tarot professionally for the last four years and the sun and the moon have never come out together this consistent, consistently in life before. There is a big element in terms of the collective of coming out of the darkness and into the light. I'm going to turn this Queen of Wands back in reverse. Even though Spirit is saying now it's upright. Okay, that's what they meant. All right, so the Magician here is clarified by the Queen of Wands reversed with the Moon and Strength. So the Magician represents an energy cancer of you coming to terms with or understanding that the alignment you had in the past, what it is you were hoping for, what it is maybe I'm hearing what it is you were working towards was in fact a misalignment. And your ego here was only helping you to stay in that alignment. But now it seems that this has come to light for you or you have figured this out. You recognized at some point that the alignment you were holding, Cancer, and what I mean by that is in terms of the law of attraction, what it is you have set into your energetic vibration that you are desiring to come towards you. And then in terms of that alignment, looking for opportunities to take the action steps you would need to take to help facilitate what it is you're looking for or what it is you are in alignment with to come towards you, okay? Uh, for you to receive that in your life, for you to achieve that, for you to realize that in your life. But it seems here that you have figured out that your ego had a hold on this and what it is you were in alignment with is an, was an illusion. It wasn't the proper alignment for you, you know, given your specific circumstance, however that resonates for you. And as an effect, you have been able to su successfully get into the proper alignment. But in order to do that, you had to be, uh, you had to have that realization. The sun is the overall energy and basically bring your ego into check here. Strength. Do you see how much major arcana so far in this reading cancer? You only have out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards that are visible on the table right now, you only have one minor arcana. And that one minor arcana is talking about your alignment. Everything is working in your favor, Cancer, because you are actively taking the steps to put yourself in the proper alignment for it. You are actively taking the steps to realize your faults in certain situations, whatever it is that is within your control, and then doing the work necessary to clean it up, to fix it. Taking responsibility, taking accountability. Everything is working in your favor right now, Cancer, because you are in fact taking accountability and responsibility for your life. And that's beautiful. That's literally all the universe asks us to do asks for us, asks of us to take responsibility and to do what is necessary for us to achieve and receive that, what, that which we truly desire or that which is meant for us. The universe is constantly going to be giving us what it is we desire. We are the only ones that block it from, block ourselves from receiving it. No one else can. And it seems that you have intrinsically gotten some sort of understanding of that. And now you're doing what it takes and you're doing what is necessary to clean up your vibration. That's beautiful, Cancer. Let's clarify the moon. Clarify the moon for Cancer, please, Spirit. Now, also, the moon is here as well. The moon can represent your energy. So part of this might actually be you coming to terms with yourself. 
either either there has been an influence around you cancer that has led you to accept a, a, a vibration or put yourself in a state of receptivity to receive something that isn't truly authentic to you because of the influence of either certain people around you, potentially your family, or just your environment. Or you just had a moment where you sat down with yourself and said, this really isn't me. It could be both. But what I'm feeling here is that there absolutely could be an energy of with the moon here and strength, the moon potentially representing yourself. It's like you had a conversation with yourself or you got real with yourself and said, what am I actually doing here? What is this misalignment? What am I actually working for? What do I actually want to achieve? Okay. All right. Moving forward. You have the foot for the moon. You have the ten of pentacles. Clarify the moon, please. The, the tower. Do you have the tower twice. You have the moon twice. You have the tower twice. This is crazy. One last card for cancer, please, to clarify the moon. Anything else? And the ten of swords. Ooh, actually, I want to take this as well. And the page of swords. Okay. And the seven of wands. Seven of wands is your overall energy. In terms of this moon energy. So, yes, the moon could represent you. Okay. I just heard it was your aware. It is your it was your awareness. That's what I heard. It was your awareness. It was your awareness. It was your state of mind at the time. The moon represents your state of mind at a certain period in your life. You learned something or you figured something out, Cancer, Page of Swords. But look at this. You have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords with a, a, with the tower sa sandwiched in between. You have a big old tower sandwich right here. Because a certain reality, a certain circumstance, a certain life path has come to a close, has come to an end for you. The Ten of Pentacles could also represent that which you were working for, working towards for a long time. But that was disrupted. All because you learned something. Page of Swords. You learned something or you figured something out or you investigated something that caused you to have a certain realization that helped you, I guess, to understand what I just heard is that helped you understand what it is you were actually working towards or working for versus what is is what it is you really, truly wanted. And there was a sudden change, massive, sudden change, or there is a sudden change for you. all because of what you learned, what you have come to understand. And that's effectively putting you, uh, ending some sort of really painful situation. But actually what I'm getting with this 10 of swords cancer is you, you dodged a bullet somehow. Like I get this very strong feeling that you got out of some sort of situation or you're getting out of some sort of situation, like right in the nick of time, right before disaster strikes, which could also be this tower moment. Maybe this is a job you were working at, um, a certain business you were working for, or a certain individual that you were working for. Maybe this was your boss within a certain job or a certain field. This could be uh, a, a certain associations with a friend's group or like a certain event or some sort of situation that is about to have disaster strike it, or it already has had disaster strike a massive upheaval, a massive change. Again, this could come back to some sort of individual, some individual that was manipulating you, trying to cast spells or trying to manipulate certain situations to trip you up or keep you locked down, locked in with them, keep you associated with them. And it feels like that is all either about to backfire or it already has backfired. And what I'm getting with that cancer, especially I'm looking at this page of swords here, you sniffed that out and got out of there in the nick of time or got away from that association in the nick of time or was able to protect yourself from some sort of damaging effects of a tower moment, of a, of a, of a, of a backfire, 
Okay, this doesn't necessarily have to just be someone that's trying to manipulate you or your life or cast some sort of spells or do some sort of ritualistic work to affect you in some way. This could be somebody's conduct. I'm getting specifically in a workplace. This could be somebody's conduct, either a colleague, a friend of yours, someone you were associated with or someone you were working under or directly for. And their conduct was not on the up and up. And somehow, some way, it backfired on them or it's about to backfire on them. But the thing about this is, Cancer, you have gotten out of there in the nick of time or you're going to get out of there in the nick of time or you're not going to be affected by this tower moment for that person somehow, some way. Seven of Wands. You are protected. And the, the strongest thing that I'm feeling for this cancer is that you have put up the proper boundaries, whether you're consciously aware of it or not, in how this is specifically, specifically going to or is working out for you, you have the proper protection. You have the proper boundaries up between you and this person or this association or this situation, okay? With that said, what is this tower moment then, please, spirit? Nine of Wands, Shady Business, Shady Dealings, The Chariot. There you are again, Cancer. Four of Wands in reverse. But again, Spirit is saying it's upright. Oh, Spirit is saying this is upright now, even though it was, it may have been reversed before, but it's because of this Seven of Wands energy. You see that? Seven of Wands is there. Six of Swords is there. Anything else for the tower? Yeah, the Hanged Man. All right. Yep, and then your overall energy is the Six of Swords. You have really dodged a bullet here, Cancer. You really dodged a bullet here. All right. Um, nine of Wands. Four of Wands. The Chariot, the Hanged Man. Ultimately, there is a tower moment happening because of your sense of I just heard, okay, Spirit just interjected and said a lack of accountability. But okay, but that lack of accountability was an was an, it was an uh, was an element of the past. Ultimately, you have overcome that at this point. You have this sense of accountability. This tower moment is, as a res is a result of a certain level of lacking in accountability. But you have been able to circumvent this or you have been able to escape from this situation. The Six of Swords is your overall energy because you found a way to take accountability here. Lacking in accountability is what's causing this tower moment, but you were able to get out of that because you, because you wised up, because you figured something out, because you experienced some sort of change in perspective, the hanged man with the four of wands and the chariot that puts you into a better alignment to move forward. And what I'm, I think it has to do with this nine of wands energy here. It's like you, well, it's... Your intuition peaked up somehow. Something put you, prompted you to say, wait a second, and to like turn around and look over your shoulder or look to the left or look to the right or look in some specific place that got, that got you to see something that was coming that you knew you didn't want to be a part of. You may have even finally woken up to how your self-sabotaging beliefs or actions were leading you down the wrong path and you were able to see a tower moment coming and you were like, you know what? Before I hit that tower moment, let me just make the changes now and do what, I need to, what it is I need to do to clean up my act here. That's what I'm getting with this Nine of Wands energy that effectively got you to put yourself, get yourself into the proper alignment to get right with yourself, the chariot, and form some sort of better foundation with yourself, all because of a change in perspective. The Four of Wands to the Hanged Man, okay? But ultimately, this tower moment is coming into play or is coming into someone's life because of a lack of accountability. Oof. And you 
have effectively escaped from that. Six of Swords. Again, Cancer, everything is working out in your favor because you are taking or have taken accountability for yourself and your life and where it is you find yourself and where it is you would like to go. Let's close this out. Closing message for my Cancerians from the Tarot, please. Closing message, final outcome. The, the Nine of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. Closing message, final outcome, potential outcome, final message, please, Spirit, for Cancer. Yeah, you're going to be happy, content. Strength is your overall energy at the bottom of the deck. All right, you come, you've overcome some sort of egoic situation that the devil was absolutely preying on and quite frankly is still preying on in terms of some of the individuals that you have left behind, okay? But you are going to be happy. You are going to be content with your dignity intact or because you have your dignity intact. Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. This is beautiful. You have your dig dignity, your integrity, you have your self-worth. And quite frankly, that's really all you need, isn't it? You're good. You don't got to worry about these, this foolishness anymore. Because you have done the right thing by yourself and for yourself in protecting yourself. And picking yourself up and being a better version of yourself than you have in the past. And that is how effectively you have circumvented uh, released yourself from some sort of pending tower moment that others seem to still be about to receive should they not do the same thing, which is take accountability. But hey, to each their own, right? <laughs> All right, Cancer, I'm going to close this reading out for you here. We're going to get you some Oracle guidance from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. Yes? Excellent. Closing Oracle guidance for my Cancerians, please, Spirit. Closing Oracle Guidance for Cancer. All right. Closing message for my Cancerian Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Two of them. Waking the Lion and Call of the Muse. Excellent. 19, Waking the Lion. The key concepts here are boldness, the courage to move forward even, even without knowing the way, facing that which is difficult or painful, the audacity to step into the unknown. Regardless of the outer conditions right now, you can't wait for your fear to lessen before you move forward. In fact, despite the chaos and seeming disarray, you must be bold. Whatever your trepidation, act as if you have deep trust that all will be well. Nothing is promised to you, but you will never truly see magic if you don't take the risk, come to the edge of certainty in your life, and leap into the unknown. You have no guarantee of immediate success. Still, you must summon your bravery in the face of possible pain, failure, or even success, and own your power. The act of making this leap, no matter the final outcome, awakens the lion within. Be proud of who you are and who you are becoming. No one can take this away from you. What type of courage is called for today? Only you know, and only you have the power to choose your path. Know that it takes just as much strength and bravery to love and be vulnerable as it does to confront a personal challenge or physical obstacle. So call on your strength and stand your ground or consciously temper your emotional reactions, do nothing and trust in your partnership with the divine. Whatever your choice, you will not fail as long as you act with courage and integrity. There's that queen of pentacles energy again, Cur uh, integrity, yeah. And then finally you have call of the muse. Key concepts are creative expression, being in the flow of creativity, allowing creativity without self-consciousness, writing and journaling as a means of connection. When you feel the call of the muse, you are being invited to create, to, to be the artist, choreographing your life, serving, off beha serving on behalf of the great artist, divine source. While the process feels intensely personal, your ego and self-identification are, ironically, the most unnecessary parts of the equation. While you might think you're, you own the magic of your creativity, can you truly say you're the source of the inspiration? 
Similar to the spirit of genius from card 29, imagine your creativity stemming from another spirit guide, the muse. Just as the genius needs to partner with your intellect, so too does the muse need you to open your heart and let magic flow through your intuition and emotions. Stop seeing yourself as the center of the process and instead see yourself as a partner in a creative dance. Sometimes you might be, quote, inside the music and the feelings, the story and its expression. Other times you observe from the sidelines, watching it all flow from an unknown yet deeply intimate source. Today, your muse is calling you to be a channel and allow the creative energy to flow through you. The energy of emotion is waiting to be given a voice, a name, a shape, or a color. Journal, finish that writing project, start something new, paint, sing, dance, and don't worry where any of it lands. It has its own plans for you. Your muse knows where this is all meant to go. For you, the big magic is in the experience of answering the call. All right, Cancer, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already and you feel so inclined. And if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you'll find all of that. Shoot me an email and I would be more than happy to get you hooked up. With that said, Cancer, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.